Welcome back. We're here with Dr. Christina Tamarie, Beaver Valley Foot Clinic. Dr. Christina, what are some of the advice that you would give someone starting their own business? Well, the advice that was given to me 16 years ago, I would give back. It's, it, it's the best advice I was ever given, and that was like where you practice and become part of the community. So um, the neighborhoods where we are, I've become like president of Rotary. And you, you really, the more you give, the givers gain, the more you get back. Yep. President of Rotary, um, involved in the Chambers of Commerce. Um, the most surprising thing, and I, I speak at a lot of organizations, senior centers, um, church groups, senior groups. And the other day, somebody called and said, I remember Dr. Tina spoke at our Friends of the Library. That was 12 years ago. Wow. And they called last week. So it just like did my heart good to know that, you know, it was relevant to that person's life that they remembered what we talked about. Because I try, my background was in elementary ed. So I try to bring the education into what I do in the room with the patient. And if I can explain to them why they're having a problem, what's going to happen, I think they become more involved in their own treatment and they'll listen better, and we have better results. People get better. Also, um, listening to the patients, you pick up on a lot of clues where if you already decide what they have before you walk in a room, you're going to miss. So uh, we get a lot of patients that have gone other places, they haven't gotten better, and um, we'll spend the time and, and actually try something different than what everybody else has tried. When you look back at the last 16 years of building up this business, um, what has been your biggest surprise? Just how much I still love it. I'll come in. I started this morning at 7 in the morning, and I can leave 5, 6 o'clock at night, and it feels like I just got there. It feels mm-hmm. like five minutes has passed. And I'm just so attached. to. I love my older patients. They're just so precious. Yeah. Um, I love taking care of them, hearing about their grandkids. And it almost feels like, wh- what kind of job can you go in there, talk to people you enjoy talking to and actually get paid and, and just building relationships? How do you, you know, because you have a genuine, um, something very genuine about you, just the way you come off. And, and you know, I've interacted with you several times and, and I can tell that, You really do enjoy what you do. You do care about the people uh, that you, your patients, the people that are in, you're in charge of their care. And and how do you, how do you distill that into a staff of 30 people? Because that's, I got to think that's the most difficult piece because, you know, they're the face, you know, a lot of times those are Mm -hmm. the people that when they're coming in, they're interacting with, I mean, they finally get to meet you and, Mm -hmm. and work with you. But how do you, how do you get that as a culture? A lot of it is, um, choosing the right employee. They don't necessarily all come from medical backgrounds, like medical assistant school. Our, our main person that interacts with all our patients manage Pizza Hut. (laughs) And they've come with a love for people and they have to be nice when I hire them and then I can train them on the rest. Okay. You can take the best trained person and you can't give them a personality. No. <laughs> and not if at all. somebody really doesn't fit how I treat a patient, they don't last. Yeah. You so, gotta replace them. It does or it's toxic to your business. Oh absolutely. Absolutely. Um awesome. All right. We're gonna come back and we're gonna talk to you about growth and how you go about um, marketing. I, 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 it sounds like one has been mergers and acquisitions, in essence, <laughs> yeah. people uh, going um, deciding to retire. Um, and I'd like to hear kind of how you went about absorbing those businesses, but also, and you alluded to being a part of the uh, chamber and what have you. So I want to hear a little bit more about your, your marketing and growth because I think it's fabulous that you've got five locations, 30 people. I mean... A lot of people are watching this um, 
uh, you are in essence the vision of what they would love to have. And um, I want to hear more about it. We're going to be right back with uh, Dr. Christina. And by the way, you can uh, check out all of the services as well as get backgrounds on the Beaver Valley Foot Clinic at bvfootclinic.com. Um, awesome website, by the way. Just, uh, you know, I was knocking around it last week after uh, we got set up for this interview and I thought it uh, very well done. So, be right back for our next segment with Dr. Christina. <laughs> 